Hey guys, welcome back to Next Wave News. Today we're focusing on a key milestone for one of NASA's most anticipated missions, Europa Clipper, and an ingenious test it performed during its flight past Mars. In March, Europa Clipper made a precise and dramatic swing past the Red Planet, not just for navigation, as the spacecraft zipped from about 3,100 miles down to just 550 miles above Mars, it carried out a critical test of its radar system. This wasn't a simple check, it was a rare opportunity in space to see whether its radar could function in real-world conditions. That radar is called REASON, short for Radar for Europa Assessment and Sounding Ocean to Near Surface. It's no small gadget. It uses slender, deployable antennas extending nearly 60 feet wide, mounted along Europa Clipper's solar arrays. On Earth, getting a clear echo for this kind of radar test would require a solid chamber nearly three-quarters of a football field long, something practically impossible to build for testing. So, Mars became the lab. For about 40 minutes, Reason sent out bursts of radio waves toward the Martian surface and captured the echoes. It gathered a whopping 60 gigabytes of raw data, rock-solid confirmation that the radar worked exactly as planned. Engineers and scientists were practically bouncing off the walls, seeing that Reason performed flawlessly in orbit around another planet. What does this mean for the mission ahead? It's huge. Europa Clipper is on a journey nearly 1.8 billion miles long to reach Jupiter, and it's bringing this radar to explore Europa, one of the most intriguing worlds in our solar system. With this radar, scientists plan to peer beneath Europa's icy shell and hunt for signs of liquid water or subsurface lakes, and maybe even that hidden ocean. Thanks to the Mars flyby, the team now has real space data to practice with and refine how they process radar signals. They're already familiarizing themselves with the technology's behavior, giving them a head start before Europa Clipper arrives in the early 2030s. So why focus on this test now? It was about far more than staying on course. It was about advancing science readiness. A successful real-world validation of reason means that when the spacecraft reaches Europa it's not entering the unknown blind, it's entering fully armed with tested, space-proven capability. If this glimpse into interplanetary tech fired up your curiosity, be sure to like this video, subscribe to Next Wave News, and hit that notification bell so you never miss your next update from humanity's journey to the stars. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next wave of discovery.